Welcome back, my groovy ghouls, to Coffin Break. I am a little pressed for time this week, so it's going to be a really quick video. What I have for you this week is a list of horror comedy movies to watch in October. These movies are a little more on the comedy side than on the horror side, but they're all fun movies to watch. Movie number five, Velocipastor. I gotta give credit where credit is due. If it weren't for Amanda the Jedi, I would have never heard of this movie. Her movie review link is on the description if you wish to watch it. The Velocipastor is a film about a pastor who gains the ability to transform into a Velociraptor, and with his powers, he decides to fight the, the forces of evil. This it's a cheese fest. Uh, you'll be laughing throughout the whole film. The element of horror used in this film is the transformation into the monster. The traditional movies are usually werewolves, vampires, or something like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Uh, the transformation usually is used to reflect a dark side or inner struggles of a character. Number four is Tremors. Tremors is a monster movie. It is not a fully comedy, but it is an easy flowing film. In an isolated town, they're having mysterious disappearances. Eventually, they discover there are giant worm creatures that hunt by ground vibrations. The film became a franchise with seven sequels. I've only seen up to the fourth sequel. If you ever seen their one, if you've seen the other ones, please let me know if they're worth the watch. The first and second film, I think, are the best ones. Movie number three is Little Monsters. This film is very recent and the only thing I want to note about this film is that there is crude humor and it is a bit gory. Uh, there's just a lot of blood splatter around. It took me a while to adjust to the comedy but once you kind of get past it and don't take it too seriously the film is very enjoyable this film is a film about uh, a school teacher who is taking uh, the kids to a field trip in a petting zoo and the worst situation happens uh, zombies escape from a government facility and the school teacher Miss Caroline is trying her hardest to keep the children safe Lupita Nyong'o is the main actress and she kills it her attitude and acting in the film makes it so much fun. Um, and I will note, just a quick side note, I love her dress. I know it's a kind of simple yellow golden dress, but it's beautiful. I, I want to dress like it. Movie number three. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Elvira is a horror icon and she does have her own movies. I believe she has two or three. I've only been able to watch the first one. I haven't been able to catch the other movies. But in the first one, she is short for money and she wants to host a show in Las Vegas. And by pure luck, her aunt, long distant aunt, passed away. And so she goes to go collect the inheritance, which is just a house. So she's working on selling it so she can host her own show in Vegas. She gets to this very small town and obviously they're judgmental of her because of her gothic aesthetic. They do claim her to be a witch, even though she kind of has no idea that she really is a witch. <laughs> anyway, this movie is really fun. It's really great. If you haven't seen uh, old Elvira episodes, as in like the original, she does host very recent ones. Um, she did ones last year and it's, I believe she's doing some this year on Netflix. So if you have free services like Tuvi, you'll be able to catch her her commentary on old movies and uh, they're just a lot of fun. Last but not least, What We Do in the Shadows, the most recent one made in 2014 by Taika Waititi and Jamie Nee Clement. This is such a fun film. At first you kind of feel the awkwardness because it's about vampires they're doing like a little documentary about their lives and you can feel their like social awkwardness because they've just been in house this whole time and they haven't let strangers in or even like let new technology in it's so funny oh man it just whenever i feel down this is my like go-to movie like if i'm not having a good day if i need something to laugh about this is my film to watch um especially because they accidentally convert a random person into a vampire. And then they have this woman who works for them, who is promised to become a vampire, but uh, she she's just pretty much the errand girl. And it's so funny how traditions they would keep don't didn't really flow into the new era. Taika Waititi himself is in it, and he's a very fun character. It might not be everybody's cup of tea, because it is kind of like a documentary style film. Give it a watch at least. Give it give it at least a quick look, and uh, let me know what you think. The All right, my Kirby Rules, as you can see, it is not my best video, but I really wanted to release a video this week. This is kind of what I had to whip together. Tell me your suggestions about comedy films, horror films. What about the scary movie franchise? That died out. 
I don't think we haven't had a scary movie in a while. Oh my gosh. My favorite one is the third one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you want to go a step further, push the subscribe button. And until next time, I agree with ghouls till death do us part.